Well, I'm still working, and I'm about the midpoint, but I wanted to cover something that I just discovered, which would have saved me some time. But when I did this at my neighbor's house where we checked their walls, I had fire bricks, or sorry, fire blocks, basically two by fours going like this, like this, like this, like so just to keep from that happening. But I got smart and I came up with an idea. So I made these holes on the top like I was doing across, feeling the trusses. So I took a little piece of this stuff. I don't even know what this is, but it's flexible. See, see how it bends? So what we do is we carefully, without falling, take this and stick it in the hole. And it's flexible. So I can go that way and go, oh, okay, that far is the stud. So the start of the next hole. That's how I gauge this. But I didn't want to drill more holes if I didn't have to. So. I took this, which is a heavy carabiner kind of thing. I tied it to some, the only cord I could find because half my garage is in the yard, but I tied it to some, um, like a yarn kind of twine stuff. So I'm just gonna let it slowly down. Okay, I only have this much left, so I'm gonna pull it all back out. But as you can see, I didn't hear a thunk. It tells me I don't need a hole down here. So that saved me like some time. So thank you, gravity. So I'm gonna do that to the next ones of the holes, and then I'm gonna go get that rental from Home Depot, assuming they still have it. But and that's what I'm doing. Very useful tool, just think of something that's heavy, and then put it on some string, and just lower it, and see if you don't get yourself a rope, rope burn or not. But seriously, this was a great idea, saved me time. So please try that, and let me know if you have a better idea, because. I'm just trying to be resourceful. That's what this whole garage is about. So thanks guys, I'll see you later.